Watching me from the moon. The tiny pundit, GDP, just said, What do you mean this nonsense with respect to the moon? <laughs> Everything is in respect to us. We are rough with frame. We are center of everything. Because we are more powerful than America. So Biden has officially announced. I may not have a big map, but I certainly have big bombs. Don't forget Japan. <laughs> So, uh, there's Newton, there's the apple that fell on his head, and today we will be looking at Reference Frames, sponsored by Brilliant. Check it out! Brilliant is a math and science website with thousands of great interactive math and science courses, which is the best place to learn. Ever wonder how I became the youngest professor in the world? Brilliant! Ever wonder which curriculum we've been following? Brilliant! Yeah. So, check out Brilliant! and get 15% off their premium offer for using our link down in the description. All right, uh, so, wink wink, go to Brilliant down below. Also, what's down below is this. Okay, wink wink, go by. All right, so, um, uh, what is a reference frame? Let me take you to the car to explain what a reference frame really is. Come on, Sir Rising Moodin, let's go. Well, a reference frame is basically just an abstract coordinate system made by you. And that coordinate system is where you are always at the origin. So, what is my velocity with respect to me and my reference frame? Well, that would be zero meters per second because I'm at the origin and always staying at the origin. Now, let's say that I'm standing outside this car and I see this car. Let's say that the car is traveling at about 50 mph. So, what is the car's velocity with respect to me and what is my velocity with respect to the car? Well, I would see the car is going at 50 mph, but the car would see himself as going at 0 mph, but the car would see me at going minus 50 mph. Alright, so... Now, we know what a reference frame is. So, let's draw our diagram first, via the earth, and then, let's draw the little piece of rock, or cheese, as some Americans theorize, called the moon. So, that's not the moon. So, um, I think that's the moon. So, mm, let's say that we're on a little piece of land, and, okay. So this is a little tiny piece of land, and we are driving on a tiny, teeny, tiny, whiny car. And so, this is our little car. And our car, I am sitting in this car. So let me just make it a little thin for my space. So I'm sitting in this car. And so... What's happening is all my relatives are sitting scattered around in different places. They want to find, what is my velocity, really? Well, first of all, with respect to me, my velocity is zero because I'm always at the origin and I'm always staying at the origin. So my velocity with respect to me is zero. VSS is zero. But what about my velocity with respect to my brother, Refat, or Rev, as I like to call it? Well, tall man over here, you have seen that he's pretty tall, if you've watched any of his videos, so it sees me, and let's say that with respect to the earth, I'm going at about 100 mph, and so tall man sees me going at 100 mph, so now, you may have wondered why I drew the giant piece of cheese in the sky. Well, that's because my father always is watching me. If you read my book, Content, you will know that on my second birthday, my father was watching me from a building. He's even watching me from the moon. The tiny pundit, GDP, just said, What do you mean this nonsense with respect to the moon? <laughs> Everything is in respect to us. We are rough with frame. We are center of everything. Because we are more powerful than America. So Biden has officially announced. I may not have a big map, but I certainly have big bombs. Don't forget Japan. My father is watching me from the moon. He sees me. And he thinks that, hmm, since the moon is orbiting at a speed of about 2300 mph, but at rest, since he's traveling on the moon, the moon is his vehicle, 
he thinks that it's 100 MP8 plus 2300 MP8 is, with respect to my dad, or Rasheel, so technically VSR, it's 2400 MP8. Mama mia! Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.